Good evening. Tonight's homework on 2.2. And our second unit focused on continue even and odd numbers. Again, it's a good idea just to kind of go through the top, looking at the pictures. You should be able, your child should be able to see that those are even just by looking at the pictures. Those all have matches. This picture of seven does not. There's one missing. That's the difference between even and odd. And look at two, four, six, eight, ten. And the last top square does not have a pair for the three, the seven is odd. Down at the bottom, write the number for the picture, circle even or odd, then write the equation. First one we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven across the bottom. Eight plus seven is a fact that they need to have under control. It's a du near doubles fact. Eight plus seven is fifteen. Fifteen is odd. Because these have patching, matching, 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 matching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six. It's twelve. And twelve is even around. Well, they all have buddies, they all have partners, they all have equal groups. Three. And last but not least, we have an array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten on the top row. And on the bottom row, ten plus ten is twenty. Twenty is even. And I would get in the habit now of talking to your child about 15. It has 5 in the 1's place, 12 has 2 in the 1's place, and 0 in the 1's place for 20. And that 1's digit gives it away if it's even or odd. Why are we spending time on even and odd to this degree with the addition facts? Because at some point, this is how they're going to use arrays to do multiplication, moving into third grade and ma mastering those multiplication facts. So that's what counting by 2's tells you if the number's even is one, one strategy. When they talk about explanations, it's one way right here. You can count the squares by two to tell if the number is even. Is a way to explain how you know if it's even or odd. Just one of the many ways. All right, reasoning up at the top says Liam says he has an even number of baseballs. Do you agree? So when it says do you agree, that means you're going to write yes or no over here. I confused this today at school in our practice. Your child was practicing this day at school if they chose to get it done during math on your own independent prep math practice. So. Taking a look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 balls. We have 9 balls. Now, 9, it says, he says he has an even number of balls. Do you agree? I do not agree. No. Why? Explain and draw a picture. Well, the picture's here. We'll just use this picture and don't have to draw it again. Well, let's find buddies, find partners. Let's find equal groups and match them up. Well, you can find groups of two. And then we have an odd man out. I have the odd baseball out. So draw a picture, use the picture, and write an equation to help. Well, we have 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 equals 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. You could do that. And that's one way to do it. For an equation, uh, you could do an equation. Uh, again, you're trying to show those groups, the twos, as groups of even, 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 even. You could do 4 plus 4 plus 1 equals 9. 4 and 4 are even. Again, you're using the equations to show that, no, his group of baseballs is not even, it's odd. So 9 is odd. And i got to explain why. It says explain. That's key. So when it says, do you agree? No, do not agree. It's odd. Nine is odd because one baseball does not have a friend or, or an equal part of a group. Or it could be nine is odd because counting by two is two, four, six, eight, ten does not at any point equal nine. A couple different explanations you can have. That's the one I'm choosing to write down. As long as you get in the habit with your child of having them write words. Write words is the explanation. Using the word because. Draw a picture that shows eight plus eight is sixteen in the circle even or odd. We worked on this pretty heavily today at school. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Draw a picture is your key word here. Now, to show evidence in the picture, if it's even around, you find buddies. Buddies. And we talked today that two, two little pigs went to market and two stayed home. And two had roast beef and two had none. And two went wee 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 all the way home. And we were just making fun problems with it of them matching up. Now, if we had any left over, we knew it was odd right away. Now, we also know that 16 has a 6 in the 1's digit. And 6 is 2, 4, 6 is counting by 2's. Also know a quick way to check if it's even or odd. Now we know that 16 is even. So draw a picture, circle even or odd, do both for this vocabulary. Draw a picture that shows 5 plus 6 equals 11, and circle even or odd. Well, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is just like the array. You could have drawn the array like this and gone 5 and 6. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cut that in half and you could have just done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that was the odd man left out on the front. You could have drawn the cubes. We know it's odd. Down at the bottom, higher order of thinking, Jacob says that an even number plus an odd number equals an odd number. Do you agree? This is your guess and check. Even, odd. So they're applying the skills. If your child knows an even number, ask them at home. Write me an even number. Give me one. Well, let's just do four. Plus an odd number. Well, we need an odd number. Do you know an odd number? Well, an odd number would be 3. 4 plus 3 equals. And it says an even number plus an odd number equals an odd number. So this has to be odd. Let's find out. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Do you agree that he says it's an odd? The sum is a, the difference. The sum is an odd number. Well, 4 plus 3 does equal 7. 7 odd. Yes, I agree. Because, why do I have to put because and write this out if I know that 4 plus 7 is odd? And it's odd. To get in the habit of explaining these answers is going to help them in the long run of math if you understand it at a deeper level, not just on a surface level. Yes, because I counted by 2 and did not reach. So again, there's, that could be, there are five different answers I would accept for this question. And the last one, which equations have a sum that is an even number? Choose all that apply. This really tricked up some students on the assessment because anytime it says choose all that apply, it typically will be more than one correct answer. So that means you have to check all of the answers. It's teaching them test taking skills. It's even number. So I'm looking at all the sums. I don't have to look at anything at first, even or out for the sums. I don't have to, you can solve them. It says which occasion have a sum that is even? Sum, sum, sum. I'm just looking at these numbers. Even, 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 even. Well, let's see. 10. I could draw a picture over here, or I could look at the ones that draw 10, see if they have partners. Circle them up. So if your child's having a hard time with 5 plus 5, I don't know if 10's even or odd. Well, draw a picture, match up the pairs like we did up here. If your child looks at 2, 5 plus 5 is 10 and says, oh, well, mom, dad, I. 5 plus 5, you add two odd numbers together, it's always an even number. I had somebody during a lesson this morning tell me that. They're thinking about this math skills at a higher level. That's great. Or you could say, oh, I looked at the ones digit on three of the numbers. I knew that 0 and 2 and 8 are all even. So which equation should have an even number? This one, this one, and this one. This one's odd. 5. 5 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pairs, pairs, odd man out. 10, 12, 18, or even. So, again, this builds on eventually getting to a point where it's not only building on some of those equations that we talked about last week, it's now going to get into some multiplication in those equal groups. And when we go three groups of three, three times three equals nine. Uh, these arrays and these circle and equal groups of two and threes and fours will help them with multiplication. Thanks.